In this question, the resultant of the pressure and wall shear force acting on a body is measured to be 430 Newton. This 430 Newton is the resultant force which is acting on this body. And this force makes an angle 30 degree with the direction of flow. Now in this question, we have to calculate the drag force and the lift force. The direction of drag force is same as the direction of fluid flow. This is the direction of drag force. Fluid flow in x direction, so the direction of drag force is in x direction. And the direction of lift force is perpendicular to the direction of fluid flow. The direction of fluid flow in x direction and its perpendicular is in y direction. So this is the direction of lift force. Now we take x component and y component of this resultant vector. So the x component is 430 cos 30 degree. This is the x component of resultant vector and the y component of resultant vector is 430 sin 30 degree. So the drag force, the direction of drag force is in x direction and in x, in x direction the force is 430 cos 30 degree. Solve this value and we get 372.4 Newton. So this is the value of drag force. Now lift force the direction of lift force is in y direction and in y component the force is 430 sin 30 degree so this is 430 divided by 2 and this is 215 newton so this is the value of lift force